Mason is in Idaho. Hi, Mason. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. How's it going? Better than I deserve. What's up? Good. So I'm 16 years old, and me and my brother do landscaping. He's owner, then I'm his uh, lawn care manager. I'm going to bring in probably about $45,000 this year and closer to 100 next year. Wow. I just want to Good advise Lord. where to put that money as I'm still living at home and don't have a ton of expenses. You pay off your parents' house. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. What are you doing again? Uh, we, we do lawn care and landscaping. Uh, we do a lot of work. We have a really fancy golf course, and we do a lot of property down there. So Wow. And you said your brother's your boss, and you're the lawn care manager. How old's your brother? He's well, 19. 19. Man. Yep. I don't want to hear anybody gripe about young people. I mean, and I don't want to hear anybody gumption. griping that you can't find something to do to work out That's there. Oh, my gosh. He's projecting a hundred grand next year. Why not? <laughs> Why not? That's a good story. Way to go, young man. Mason, now you're amazing. Congratulations. Wow. So your question is what to Thank do you. with the money? Yeah, just was like investment. What, I mean, I'm definitely – we're definitely gonna move out at some point, so save for a house and all that. But you going to you plan to go to college? No, sir. Yeah, that a boy. <laughs> What's wrong with college? Nothing, Dave. It's not bad. It's not bad. But makes, he makes does smart people smarter if they take the right stuff. If they need it, okay, he doesn't so what need are you, what, it. What are you gonna do with your life, Mason? Uh, definitely do this for the next couple of years. Become keep the manager going. Definitely get up there. We'll see where this business goes. It's definitely growing. We have four trucks and we're having to buy a truck about every other month it seems like but um and then i don't know i'm kind of thinking about maybe going into crane work uh we have some cool classes over here for that so okay so the reason i'm asking all that is not to be facetious it's to say um the first and best investment someone in your age group can make 16 to 26 is in uh knowledge that may or may not be a four-year degree. That may or may not be a, a formal series of classes, but knowledge. And the thing you do need to do is be a continual learner mm -hmm. the rest of your life. So you're always going to conferences, reading books, taking the occasional class or whatever. And, and or in your case, maybe you are pursuing a certain certification in crane operation or yeah. whatever that is. But I, that's the best use of this money because it's going to give you the best rate of return. Knowledge has the best rate of return of any possible investment. Knowledge that actually has utilitarian use in the marketplace. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So, yeah, getting, yeah, tool, like getting tooled up, you're getting your brain to, and your hands tooled up to go do the next thing is always the best money maker. So that's where I want you to do with money first. Secondly, yeah, you can begin investing. And if you're, if you don't need to set aside a bunch of money for a four year, because you're not going that route, then, um, then you can start to think about Roth IRAs, file a tax return, do a Roth IRA, get with a smart investor pro. They'll help you do that. And you can get a real head start on that. Uh, but if you told me you were going to four year and you needed this money for that, I'd be okay with you just setting it aside for that. Either any of those are fine, any of those directions. Wow! Yeah, really impressive. And see, this is this is this is going to be an entrepreneur. No, he, he already he, is. Whether he takes the crane classes or not, I'm telling you, this young man is going to be creating jobs from a company that he has started, and this is the entrepreneurial path. And, and and I just couldn't be any more excited to hear a story like this. And this is and I want to be very clear. Dave's having fun with me, but uh, I'm not anti college. I'm anti assuming that you have to go to college to be successful and spend four years time and money on a degree that you don't even want and may not even be able to use. That's my position. This young man is an exhibit A of he doesn't need the four year degree. What he does need is, as Dave pointed out beautifully continuing knowledge, continue to grow, and education is not exclusive to a diploma at a fancy university. Education is, like Dave said, reading books, uh, listening to podcasts, going to conferences, sitting with successful business women and businessmen who are winning in the field you want to be in. And so uh, what a great story. 19 and 16-year-old brothers, Dave. Yeah. so Crushing it. Had the exact same situation just the other day. I got some work being done on one of our properties. Yeah. And two of these big tracos come up, major, yeah. major cranes, yeah. gra grabbing rocks, grabbing stuff, right? Talking to the guy running it. And um, he's like 30 years old, and he owns the thing. He goes, I started listening to you. Uh, no, he's, he's 40 years old. I'm sorry. He said, I started listening to you when uh, 20 years ago 
Wow. On talk radio. And he goes, I was, I was running a, uh, I was cutting grass. Mm-hmm. I was running a lawn care and I expanded into irrigation and we expanded into tree removal and I bought a couple pieces of heavy equipment and he said, now I own $2 million worth of heavy equipment and I run a heavy equipment operation. Wow. hundred percent debt free the entire time. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, yeah. high school graduate. Yeah. And yeah. he just kept working, did good work, opportunities presented himself. He learned it, acquired it, did it, expanded it. And I wonder how many people he employs. A uh, bunch. <laughs> you bunch. see? I mean, you got several million dollars worth of equipment. It doesn't sit idle. That's correct. You know? so, so he's uh, creating jobs. Yeah. Yeah. That, this, is how, this is how America works, boys and girls. <laughs> just a little lesson for your economics class. That's true. That's Carl true. Marx was not there. <laughs> this is The Ramsey Show. Open phones at 888 825 Two two five. Our friend Mike Rowe would be real proud. Of I was just getting ready that kind to say of thing. That. Uh, we were talking about this in the uh, America's Labor Crisis event we did a few weeks ago uh, that you were a part of, and we were talking. And Mike and I were talking about it on stage that the he's not he's about as hardcore pro tradesman as anybody oh, yeah. you'll ever meet, That's right. and almost anti college, but not completely anti college. Right. But you know what we all agree on, regardless of how where on that spectrum you land. Right is uh, A, a useless college degree is useless and too expensive. That's right. Uh, and so getting a degree in German polka history, you're going to end up being a barista, okay? This is just dumb, all right? And you're going to pay $250,000 for the opportunity to draw somebody else's coffee. And so um, nothing wrong with being a barista, but if that wasn't your goal and that's where you end up by default, that's what I'm making fun of. So don't you barista, the, don't let the barista union start sending me hate mail, okay? But the... Uh, <laughs> But he, he, our point was that the currency all along has been knowledge. Yes. And somewhere the switch got flipped, and it, the currency became a college degree. Yes. And it's not a college degree. No. The currency that moves you into the next thing, the thing you spend to go into the next section of your life is knowledge. A college degree can represent that, but it is not the currency. That's right.